Mbaka for you. I've been running your route on Ground Zero, making tons of ruples. Outstanding. <laughs> Outstanding, man. Glad to hear it. Alright, let's get into raid. Oh, streets of Tarkov. Oh, man. Of course, it's a spawn that's like so far away from where we need to be. Um, yeah, and we're getting shot out right out the gate, so there's that. Was that at us? Someone has a high caliber gun and is cracking off shots at people. So typically I wouldn't recommend um, going this way but I think all things considered our best approach might be going this way. So we're gonna see how this goes here. Um, yeah I gotta get settled in. My, uh, <laughs> my adrenaline's pumping with the channel. <laughs> like We've had so many good streams and so many good raids and so many good moments and I haven't even had time to watch all the cool stuff we've been putting out there. Too busy um, doing it. It's just been wonderful. And uh, yeah, I'm hoping we get a reasonably good start here. But as you can hear, we got some movement that was not us. Where I heard something. Okay. Well, if someone is camping this, but they would be, there would be scabs over there aggroing, right? If someone was there, probably overthinking this. No, I'm not. There we go, PMC. Okay, so let's double back this way. And uh, yeah, I guess we will take the expo route. It'll be a bit of a longer haul, but uh, clearly someone over there is pushing the boss and going for our wonderful key, more than likely, so we should maybe just stay out of that uh, side of the, the map altogether. Um, yeah, so if we see anything of worth, obviously along the way, we're going to be looty looterson too, but um, really... We're on the streets, so you can pretty much loot anywhere. So wherever we're at, we can always decide to stop and grab some stuff. But we won't make that the big focus. And the big focus for us is going to be, uh, well, now we're heavy. But it's an AK, so we're taking it, right? A uh, big focus for us right now is really just trying to make it to where we need to be to get this document. Outside of that, we don't have any quests on streets right now. Um, so there's really no other reason for us to be here outside of just having fun and at Streets of Tarkov and PvP and all that jazz, right? So I would recommend if you're going to have to go this way, run through the dealership. Um, early in the raid though, be careful. It is a spawn point, um, so you can always run into people here. But if you head over this way, stop in the store and go ahead and get you some drinks and food. Especially if you plan on being in raid for any length of time, because you will probably need them. So, we got some drinks now. <laughs> Little something we can use to uh, to revitalize ourselves. I'm not going to search these bodies. Uh, there's a ton of loot there, but again, off spawn, people like to camp those and, and take pot shots at you. So, you've probably seen me take this route on PvE before. Um, there's a reason. It's because I learned it on PvP, and as a solo, even when I was learning the game, and I was terrible at firefights, I'm still pretty terrible, but when I started, <laughs> what I knew I had to get good at first was surviving, and so that's really um, where I put my first focus, was trying to find routes that uh, I could take that would allow me to stay alive long enough to learn the maps, or maybe long enough to learn to shoot a gun. Um, so we're going to try to make it through here, and that door's open. Uh, in one piece. Not really worried about scabby scabbersons, but I do not want to get tangled up with too many PMCs. So I'm going to head through over here, actually towards the key room, and see if we can't cut through post office and then run across the road and get to where we're going. I see something down there. Scabby scabberson. He's not with us anymore. I hear movement over there though. I don't know if that's a player or a scab, 
But if it's a player, push it, bro. This is not a place I would ever stay, by the way. If you're wondering, like, dude, why aren't you looting those kills? Because, um, one, we just discharged, and so everybody's going to hear it. And two, um, shit, I'm not even in the right place. That is AI scav, or no, that's not moving like an AI. Probably a player scav down there, so we're going to hang tight and cut back a different way. Yeah, we're going to be going through buildings and doorways and all that shit. Um, actually, let me repack for a second. This guy is not going to know where we are and it'll give us a chance to kind of let him move and see where he's going to end up. Don't know if those were players or scavs or what that we put down, but I'm also not going to stop and check either. Again, once I get Bitcoin set up, unless it's deep in the raid, I'm not worried about searching a body that just spawned in. Nine times out of ten, they're going to have about the same thing you do, but um, I also don't think that was a player, just because a player wouldn't have just stayed there like that um, after missing their shot. They wouldn't. Have, well, maybe they would have. I don't know, but I doubt it. So that building over there is huge for money, um, but also means it's huge for people. And problems um, so just know that so the route we wanted to take to get the post office obviously is not going to be viable which is why we're going this way um, I didn't even look at the extracts actually probably should check that oh we got um, crash site and damaged house okay perfect I don't know if we can make it the damaged house but we are certainly gonna try so this is one way you can go it's gonna lead us through Concordia which is dangerous um, on either version of the game people are going to be pushing the boss there um, and can also be camping here plus there's a ton of quests that send you to this grocery store so just be careful uh, if you're making this push especially and I will say this on PVE okay there it, this is swarm central where I'm running through right now and uh, where we're going is swarm central so <laughs> if you're on PVE just know there's gonna be a lot more things over here if you take this route, so just be ready for that. Uh, but also PvP, you know, the opposite. Less things, more deadly, because you got players. Um, and that's always a bit of a different story. So while we're running out in the open here, I'm just going to move as quickly as we can to get to where we need to be. Um, yeah. So we're going to cut through here and head this away through the door. Um, and yeah, I'm going to take a second here and, uh, chill, grab a drink and say hello to everyone in the chat. <laughs> Thank you for being here. Oh, <laughs> streets of Tarkov PVP. We got a quest to do and yeah, we just made it through Concordia, man. That's outstanding. Now we just got to make it the rest of the way, but I'm just going to push because I don't want to linger too long. This is not the place to be just chilling. So we got crash site over there if you were curious about where that extract is but we're not gonna be heading that way we're gonna be heading this way. Um, over here is a spot where people like to camp this building has tons of military uh, crates and good lootables so be on the lookout if you're coming this way good chance that either someone is there or has been there so may not want to push too far too fast give yourself a chance to hear someone if they're if they're inside I don't hear anything and most of the gunfire was not near here so we're just gonna keep it moving but again as you're moving around in PvP a good idea is to never run in a straight line um, zigzag side to side because if someone's trying to snipe you um, they're gonna be doing it at range and uh, it just makes it a little harder for them to clip that headshot because ultimately if someone decides to snipe you from long range and they <laughs> they hit it at the right time man you're dead right so your best defense against that is to just never be standing in one place for too long um, and try to keep moving especially when you're out in the open and then again dodge side to side zigzag and uh, try not to stay out in places 
that uh, people are going to be for too long. Um, there's no way to move through the maps, obviously, without exposing yourself, but you really do want to pick and choose how and where you do that. And uh, even saying that, we've been out in the out in the open too long, so I'm going to tuck in here real quick and close this up. And let's see, has someone come by to loot this yet? Because if not, we could probably have a drink. Or, or we could get shot <laughs> while we're having a drink. I truly believe Ground Zero is the best scav run because look at where we're at, right? Um, you could just spawn in here. Even if you don't go through the whole entirety of the map, you check that. If you can't search it, check this body. Um, you will have some stuff on your scav anyway. But a lot of times, no one has touched this guy, right? So right now, we've got our GPUs, right? I don't need to go searching for GPUs. What we need is money, and what we need is easy, quick wins from our scav and scav rep. So what I would recommend, once you've got your GPUs done, don't go in and spend a ton of time on your scav, I don't think. I think you go in, I think you get quick loot, and I think you get out and get back on your PMC as soon as you can so that you can kind of continue that progression. Even if you're dying, raiding in repeatedly, you are still making progress, um, so I wouldn't spend a ton of time on your scav. As you can see, we weren't there very long at all. I'm going to run out because I want to show you guys something else too. Hopefully it's down there. Oh, we can't. we got to search these before we can put stuff in them. Uh, there's a method to the madness. Just bear with me. <laughs> uh, but what I want to show you guys is if you're ever taking this extract, Run all the way to the bottom as fast as you can, as long as you know no one's here, because sometimes there's a toolbox, and if you search it quick enough, you can get some extra juice if you left click, uh, you know, and try to get stuff in there before you exfil. You could also run back up the steps to stop the timer and come back down, but hopefully we have a, a better time in the streets on this run. But yeah, so 120 frames. Um, YouTube's not there yet, but the videos are, so um, be on the lookout for that. This is a good infill for where we need to be, but what it is not is a good extract unless we get the car. So we're going to run quickly to get to the building um, because we know where it's at. And then we're going to try to take the car before anyone else does if it's up and available. Just because it's an extract doesn't mean it's going to be there, so don't let that confuse you. Sometimes that can be confusing and frustrating, but yeah, it's, it's not always up. So hopefully it will be up. But the building we need is very close. So we're going to head that way and uh, see if we can get that document. Right? Am I on full auto? Yeah, let's make sure. Do I have <laughs> Do I have bullets? Yeah. Okay, we got bullets. We're on full auto. Yeah, let's go. Right? <laughs> Streets of Tarka. Oh. All right. Well, fine. You guys fight about it. I'm not even here to fight anyone right now, guys. I mean, I'm down, but listen, I got stuff to do. Close doors behind you, though, guys. Um... Pro tip there can help you out. Um, where's our... I think the, the stairs are this way? No. Stairs are not this way. We need the stairs. Where are the stairs? They're back here. Okay, so if I, if I remember correctly, the document we need is up here in one of these um, offices. Not this one. I think there is a door up here that is locked that you could go into, but um, I don't think you need it for this. There we go. Yep. Okay, so we got what we needed. Now, we are going to get out and see if we can run over and check on the car before the, this place gets too, too busy. Um, there's definitely going to be people moving towards this direction because relaxation and marked room are right here. Now, it's early wipe for us, so we're not at the point where we have keys, but there may, may be others who are. <laughs> Got us there, man. What in the world? happened. Trying to learn extracts on streets is the hardest part. Yeah, absolutely, man. And as I said, uh, Ken Jr. clearly was on his way to marked room today, so he's got a marked room key. Alright, oh, decent spawn, actually. So, oh, and we got sewer. This might be it for us, actually, if we can make this happen, because sewer is right by where we need to be. Um, so, yeah. I'm going to push as quickly as I can to get down there before we get shot at and or sniped. I heard something ricochet. I'm not sure if that was at us or not, but um, I don't want to stop moving here. I, I do want to get our stand back, but yeah. 
Business is about to pick up. Can we make it to the bank, guys, is the question. <laughs> Can we make it to the bank and make it out? I don't know. I don't know. But we're going to try. I think I should go across the street, probably. No, well, either way, you go by a marked room, man. It's dangerous no matter what you do. Damn. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, yep. He was just playing the spawn, you know. He knew someone was going to be running by there. And he probably saw us tuck away to regen our stam. And was just waiting for us to come right back out. One Marvin Hemeyer domed to the top of the brain. So, unfortunately, uh, same ending there. So, three strikes were out on the streets of Tarkov. I believe we'll head back over to customs. But if you're watching the video, I'll let you off the hook. We'll end the episode there bloody affair but we did get some things accomplished uh stay tuned for the next one we'll be jumping in on our sky and seeing if we can't get that last motor but thank you so much for stopping by um i really do appreciate everyone taking the time to check us out it's your boy con 4 with fox gaming oh be careful out there y'all peace